Hello, you beautiful people. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new here, please don't forget to hit subscribe and give this video a thumbs up because it really helps out my channel and turn that notification bell on because I'm uploading back to back. The last three videos, we have focused entirely on the iHat Revolution and Elf collection. We have now done a full reveal video. We've done two testing videos and now we're going to be catching up on some of the videos that I missed last month whilst I was Pooley and we're starting today with the second Simpsons review. So I've got my little bag of goodies in here. So this is basically everything else that is in the collection that I didn't review in my first Simpsons, Simpsons video, if I can spit my words out. So there's absolutely loads in here. We have the two little um, palettes. We have the Bat one and the Maggie one. We also have the eye gels. We have the red lip kits which we'll choose one of these to put on today as well and we also have the blue lashes which is going to be very very different for me because i don't think i've ever worn colorful lashes before i don't think um, and we also have a different lip balm um to try as well so yeah let's just get straight into it but before we do this video is even more exciting because it is also a collab with my beautiful youtube friend makeup alex kate if you are new to my channel i absolutely love Alex like I have the biggest place in my heart for her I adore her and if you like my channel you will love Alex's as well because we do very very similar content um, and yeah and she is just the sweetest little person ever so I'm really happy that we're doing a collab I have gone for the yellow lights following um, yesterday's comment as well yellow in regards to the Simpsons if you want to help me pick what lights I'm going to put on for tomorrow's video then please leave a comment down below and hopefully you might get chosen and I might go with the colour lights that you want me to do but anyways let's just get straight into it let's do some swatches of the Maggie and the Bart palette and let's put this on my eyeballs so this is what Bart palette looks like and then these are the swatches so at the top we have the raven monkey's paw hell to peer um nevermore eel pie unearthly zombie and then at the bottom we have grave stone so this is what the palette looks like and then this is its swatch so at the top we have candle in the wound seance space alien I think that says Regal the Seventh, um, Graveyard, Head Vampire, Crypt Keeper, and then Paranormal, which is that beautiful gold at the bottom. So from playing around with some colours on my hand to see how they blend together, because my brain doesn't do well with that kind of stuff, I think we're going to go for like a purple and orangey colour and then go for this lighter one on the inner part of the eye. I think that's what we're going to go for. So I'm just going to prep my eyes with the Revolution Ultimate Eye Base in the shade Light. I'm just going to tap that all over and then we'll get the baller rolling. So I'm going to go over a combination of both palettes. And I'm going to start with Seance, which is the dark purple. I do feel like there's a matte black missing in this palette. Like this one here, which is um, Bart's palette, has like, like a grey kind of glitter and also a black glitter. And I feel like one of these could have been a matte black and that would have been a lot better. I'm not going to lie though, out of the whole Simpsons collection, my favourite thing is the massive eyeshadow palette. So I'm a little bit biased anyway because the big eyeshadow palette is just where it's at for me. So I'm going to take this and, oh, that's nice and pigmented. We love to see a bit of a depth in a palette. I honestly, I'm going to knock them lights out. <laughs> Why is my camera focused on them? all the time and I was just using a Lily England 108 brush for that in case you're wondering and then I'm also going to take a Peaches and Cream PC35 brush and we're going to go in with Candle in the Wound which is the orange in Maggie's palette. I actually do think I prefer Maggie's palette over Bart's but Bart's is a lot more cool toned if that's more your thing but I'm going to then tap this kind of quite heavily over the top of the outline of the purple okay so i brought that a little bit further in and the orange a little bit further in as well just to make it a little bit easier when we go in with the shimmer and i did really want to go with the green but i just don't feel like it's gonna i don't know i feel like i've been doing quite a lot of dark looks recently so i think i'm gonna go in with this one here um and it's cool because it means we're gonna use this palette so we're gonna go in with the shade zombie the shimmers in here and to be fair even the mattes 
so soft and so buttery. Um, I always like to go through the mat to add some ratio and I keep forgetting to do that. So for Bart's one, we have um, three mattes and the rest of shimmers. You already know that I'd really like a matte black in there. If, like that would have just completed it and then we would have had like halfy halfy between shimmers and mattes. And then obviously we have Maggie's one. So Maggie's has um, again, three mattes and the rest are shimmers. However, this one here has like the tiniest little bit of a shimmer in it. And I actually use a little bit of that to blend out the corn, like the outer edge of the orange. So, I mean, technically you could, you could count that as a matte if you really wanted to, because that's what I've used it as. Um, but yeah, that is kind of the ratio. But we're going to go in with Zombie from this palette here, which is this bottom one. And uh, honestly, this is so pigmented and so soft uh, I'm gonna pop this right in this inner corner just like this if my camera would like to focus I pop that quite high up as well and I'll go back in with the brush that has the orange one to kind of blend it all nicely in together so what I'll do is I'll put some more of the purple on I'll finesse it a little bit I'll do the other eye and then we'll come back with the next step so that is both eyes done so far and um, then palettes retail for £10 each by the way and today we're also going to be trying out the other one of the slime lip masks and I mentioned in my first Simpsons review video that this is literally like slime like the the name fits it perfectly so I'm going to take some of this this is the candy apple one and the other one was lemon and lime if I remember rightly yeah lemon lime it is in my lip mask drawer and like I said that retails for six pound I prefer the scent of the other one but it depends what you're after that one obviously is a candy apple scent to it so before I put my foundation on, we're going to test these. So these are the gel eyeliners. So we have a Lisa and a Bart one. They are both blacks. So we have Witch Lisa and the Raven Bart. However, one is shimmery and one is matte. So you get a large gel pot and then also a double-ended brush in both of them. And we have Bart, which is more of the shimmery one if you remember from my review video that's what Bart looks like and then obviously we have the exact same in the witch lisa one so the gel pot and the double ended brush again but this one is a matte black so when i hold them up next to each other you can see the difference between the two i want to go in with the matte black one today but i am going to swatch both of them just so you can see what they look like oh that's really creamy and oh okay that's really pink for literally one swipe as well and then for the shimmery one oh okay so yeah there is actually quite a difference between the two i feel like the shimmery one is lighter too i don't know if it's meant to be black to be fair it might not be meant to be black it might be meant to be like a gunmetally color with sparkle in it but that is the difference between the two so i'm going to go in with bat one i'm just going to basically line my um top Lash, lash line with it and I'll be back in a second I'm also going to put on the rest of my base makeup as well and then we'll come back and we'll try the lip kits and we'll also try the funky blue lashes which are definitely not going to go with this look but we're going to try them anyway <laughs> so this is what we're looking like so far I've put on some just Urban Decay like eyeliner underneath my eye and smudged out with the purple and the orange and that's all I've done for underneath the lash line I've put on the same foundation the same powders that I've had on for my last like two videos as well and um, so that was just like the Nivman Fab foundation and a revolution powder and also a benefit powder I want to tell you about my blusher again because again I've tried a new blusher the past two videos I've had the Jaclyn Hill blush palette on and this time I've tried this which is also new to me this is the Be Perfect Scorched Magma Magma blush look at her she is beautiful like oh absolutely stunning and for my highlighter which is absolutely blinding i've actually used a highlighter out of the simpsons little face palette and i've also used the bronzer i have been reaching for this bronzer like near enough every single day it's been ages of since i've had this collection i've been reaching for it absolutely lords 
and I'm so fussy with bronzers. So if you like bronzers that I like, I honestly would really recommend getting this. I did test it in my last um, Simpsons review video if you want to go check it out. But yeah, obsessed with the eyeliner, the gel one that we've got on. And yeah, I'm really happy with how this is looking. It's going to go a bit different now because if it was me, I'd now put on like a nice orangey, nudie kind of lip. I'd put on some lashes maybe. But because we're going to be using what's, like, using what's left in the collection, we're going to have to go for a red lip, which would not be what I would pair with this. But we have two different lip kits. So we have Devil Flanders and Vampire Mr. Burns. And I don't think there's actually much colour difference in these, to be honest with you. So this is what Flanders one looks like. And then this one here is Mr. Burns. So I think we're going to go for... Mr. Burns because I feel like it's just a little bit darker it'll probably tie in a little bit better with the look than Flanders would. So let's go in with the liquid lipstick first. Ooh, this smells really strong. It smells nice but it smells really strong. So that is what the liquid lipstick looks like by itself. So it does match up quite well actually with how it looks in the tub. Would I put it with this look? Definitely not, but we've, we're just gonna work with what we've got. So we also have the lip gloss, which has like a tiny little tint of the same color of the lipstick. So I'm just gonna put this all over the top. Not much comes out in the aftercare. Out of all of the lip kits, my favorite one has definitely got to be Homer's one because it was nude, which I did try in my last Simpsons review. So then this is what it looks like. Do you know what, even though, I would never ever put this lip with this eye look. I think this is beautiful. It is a gorgeous red and I love the gloss on top of it. I, okay. I actually really, really like that. And I feel like it makes your teeth look lovely and white as well. It feels really comfortable. I always get scared wearing like a gloss over a red lip, but I do feel like it just makes it look so much nicer like so much nicer uh, I just get scared leaving the house with on in case I get it all in my hair which is just a typical Lucy thing to do but yeah that is what the lip kit looks like and then last but not least we have the eyelash kit so this has two different eyelashes in inside it this is the witch marge lash duo so the ones that are upside down these black ones are the ones that I tested in my last video and today I'm going to be putting on the blue ones just to make this look even more crazy than what it already is so I'll pop these on and then I'll show you what they look like. So this is what the blue lashes look like. Do you know what? I actually really, really like them because they have like some strands of black in it. I feel like it just blends in really, really well with my normal lashes, especially because I've got black mascara on. But I actually think it looks really cool. Like I'm, I'm, I've never tried. I don't think I have anyway. I don't think I've ever tried colorful lashes and I'm here for it. Like I actually really like that. So yeah, this is the finished look. I would love to know what you think. Obviously, it is a bit of a mismatch just because we're trying to try everything that is left out of this collection. And don't forget to go check out Alex's video. She has basically tested the exact same stuff that I have, but obviously created a totally different look to me. So don't forget to go check out her video. It is linked down below as well. Please help me decide what colour lights I should go for in tomorrow's video. If I remember rightly, I'm pretty sure tomorrow's videos are going to be a double upload because I have got quite a lot of content to get up. Let me just check my iPad <laughs> um, and I'll let you know what tomorrow videos is going to be. So we're going to be uploading two videos tomorrow. One of them is going to be at five o'clock and I believe the other one is going to be at nine o'clock at night. Um, so the five o'clock one is going to be the Glossy Box November unboxing and then the nine o'clock one, nine-ish o'clock one, this is UK time as well, is going to be testing the XX Revolution nude seasonal range. So the new liquid blushes, the lip glosses, and um, the new palettes and showing you the full collection um, as well. So yeah, I'll hopefully see you tomorrow for them two videos. It's going to be our first time double uploading so I'm excited to see whether you like that or not and whether that does well on my channel or not but yeah hopefully I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you to my patrons for being so lovely. Thank you to you for watching this video and I'll hopefully we'll see you tomorrow for a double whammy of videos. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye.